guys, this is Simply Burnt Toast, aka Kristen again, and we're at another speed build, and unlike last time, this is going to be a really expensive house. I decided to go ahead and make it quite large, um, two stories, four baths, three and a half, er, four beds, three and a half baths, um, it's going to have a nice balcony area, it's going to have three study room kind of areas, um, a formal dining room, a kitchen, and... A whole bunch of other stuff that I'm sure can be added on later. I just decided to go ahead and do that. I was inspired by a house that's um, kind of way down the like down the main street from where I live. I think it's really awesome that they actually have a patio balcony area on their second floor, just because like you usually don't see that, or at least I don't see that. So I went ahead and decided to kind of be inspired by that. I didn't do a whole lot of decoration with this one. I also um, didn't do a whole lot of shrubbery or trees or anything like that just because I kind of want to get the basics. This also took me over an hour and a half to do from what you're just seeing. Um, so by the time that I had gotten the main furnishings done and everything done, I was just done. <laughs> So it's kind of there, and it is also in the exchange for The Sims 3 um, for you to download yourself. So, And it also will explain the ones that I use. So I'm just going to go ahead and dive right in here. As you can see, I've already gotten the main layout, the outside. I'm working on the foyer area. That's going to become the bathroom that I just did. Not the tiny little area, but the big area. That's going to be the living space. And this is going to be the kitchen. And I was kind of like not wanting it to be a huge kitchen, but big enough that you could go ahead and put um, some island counters in there. Next to that is the dining room. Now this whole big space is going to be another bathroom and then the, the other three study rooms. One's going to end up being like a book reading session. The other one is going to be odds and ends kind of thing. And then the long one that's in the front of the house, that's going to be the music room. Now I was thinking about putting another room in there where I was just trying to fiddle around with that and you might um, but I decided to leave it there and I wanted to go ahead and plant the staircase there just because sometimes like I've said before I forget about stairs and then I'm screwed later and I have to go ahead and redesign the whole thing so I wanted to go ahead and lay out the space that I wanted to have for the foyer the, or you know the staircase landing over here is going to be the master suite. Um, that's going to be the bathroom. And I decided to make a um, closet. And those are the three bedrooms for the children. So it's um, quite a large family. And we've got the bathroom. And I hear because it's going to go out onto the balcony there. I kind of made that a little bit of a kind of hangout sort of place thing there. Um, I want to. I like to play around with the walls, like with the um, wallpaper and that sort of stuff. So I got went ahead and did that. Played around with the doors and also with the windows as well. So I like to kind of experiment. Um, so it might not exactly look like it goes, but I'm always tired of having my houses look exactly the same. Um, so I wanted to uh, change it up a little bit. So went ahead there. Oh, I didn't even account for the master. Did I account for the master bath? One, two. I did not account for the master bath. So technically, it's four and a half bath. So there's mo there's a little half bath. So um, there's one and a half bathrooms upstairs, there's three upstairs, so, which currently there's only, um, two, but I make one out of two, so the one next to the, one next to the kids' room, that's going to become two, as you'll see later in the video, so I was having a little bit of trouble with trying to put the, the roof up on here, and I wasn't understanding why, so I ended up... Um, breaking down that whole wall and the stairs because I thought it was originally complaining about the stairs but that's why I deleted that too because I didn't want to mess with that but it let me put everything back so I wasn't quite sure exactly what 
its issue was. Um, but it was just kind of strange that it happened. Um, I'm sure there's some reason as to why, but whatever. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and do the windows. And if you don't have, if, if you have move objects on, sometimes that'll happen to your doors and windows is where it'll look like, you know, the wall, it's just like an outline. So it doesn't even actually show like the actual window part. Um, so here I am just kind of playing with the windows a little bit. I wanted to try to get a little creative with them. Um, I wanted to maybe do something different in every room and I was really excited to get the bay window in there because I wanted to get it done in my other build but it wasn't quite working um, and I thought it would be more appropriate because this is the dining room right here I thought that the bay window was more appropriate in one of the study rooms just because of the type of room that it's going to become and I tried to put another window in there but it just didn't look right so I went ahead and decided to put go into the music room and I knew that I I wasn't quite sure if this was going to be music room or not. I knew that it, I actually wasn't even sure what this was going to be to begin with. Like when I started building it, I was like, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> um, it does end up being one of the study rooms. So, and let's go ahead. It's been a couple hours since I've seen this. So we'll go ahead and just see. Okay. Roof. There we go. Boom. Um, and I hate really tall roofs. So I didn't realize that was the flat top. So I went ahead and pointed that out or made that pointy don't ask me why I build this way but sometimes I build when it's dark or at least with you know just windows where I start putting stuff in for buy some people will put in um, make it dark and then put in um, lights to do that and I should have done that but I just decided not to um, and this house is kind of like a conglomerate. It's not really traditional. It's more, uh, I don't even know how to, it's Kristen. That's what it is. <laughs> Cause like the living room is quite modern. Um, the bathrooms are very traditional, but I mean, I guess they're all black and white. So some people can't argue with the fact that they are more contemporary. But then the study areas are, of course, very traditional. Um, so I guess this is more of a contemporary home than anything else. So I also tend to make my bathrooms way bigger than I need to, but that's fine. I didn't put anything there in that little square rectangle next to the bathroom. I didn't know what to do there. So if you guys want to leave any comments or anything or, you know, download it and do it yourself, that's totally fine too. There's no qualms about that. And if you guys do download it, um, it'd be really awesome if you could leave links as to, you know, what, um, what you're doing with it. So if you're doing it with a big old house, you know, big old family or what, or however, it, it would just be really cool to see, um, what y'all do, um, to it. So then here's my contemporary living room i wanted to make sure that they did have enough space and i thought with the big gigantic tv what screams money is that so because they do have three kids i wanted to go ahead and put some stuff down there so in case that they did leave their kid down there um i go in spurts where i like to play with the toddlers and children and sometimes i'm like eh, i really don't care but i wanted to be more of a family sort of environment in there so going on to the kitchen i like dark um appliances i like well my ideal kitchen is like a dark brown so with like maybe black appliances which would be nice but i went ahead and just did black and white for the most part then i'm putting in the fire the smoke detector and also the alarm the burglar alarm which i wanted to go ahead and do um that's how i know i get my burglar alarm is i put my <laughs> um smoke detector in there and i was trying to make the dishwasher and the trash compactor black as well but for some reason it wasn't showing up as black and it never shows up as black um so i just kind of left it i could dealt with it with it being white so no big deal Going ahead in here and putting what I'm going to call the breakfast bar. 
And of course you have to have stuff for the toddler. And so I'm going back in here and being like, oops, I need to go ahead and put in that potty train, you know, the toilet for the toddler. And just doing dark, 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 dark. And I wasn't sure if this was really like an appropriate kind of wall tile to put in there, but I decided to go ahead and do that anyway. Um, here I'm trying to find a table that'll be long enough to accommodate because you think it's a family of five. I mean, what if they have parties and stuff like that? So I wanted to make sure they had enough and I wanted to be kind of um, semi-formal, but they still will have a bar. Of course, you need to always have a bar. <laughs> um, and then I'm getting some stools in here. Because, like, my ideal thought is that maybe they, you know, the mother might, you know, pick up a hobby for her, you know, so herself. So, you can go ahead and do that. And here's my little half bath with just legitimately toilet, sink, mirror, done. And, like I said, I wasn't quite sure what I want to do with this, but I knew I wanted them to be study rooms. So, what this ended up being right here is the library. Um, I'm kind of playing around with bookshelves here. I wish I would have gone back and had changed the um, the size of the walls because I wanted them to be like back to back to back to back. But I also didn't want to take the time to put in like a mod or a cheat or anything like that to put that in there. So whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and put some nice big comfy chairs in here, and that's why I wanted that bay window so that when the sun came through it would be hitting the page so then they'd be able to actually see. So a nice blue room. I heard blue is a calming color so I went ahead and did that um, which doesn't bode well for my next color. Um, then I'm going to paint this room which would be red but I like a, a nice rich red for my study. Um, or at least that's how I kind of imagine it. So I'm just kind of putting some hobby stuff in here, some knickknacks and just trying to fill up the space pretty much. I um, didn't want to put too much in here to clutter it, but my thoughts were was that it needed something to be kind of quiet so to not disturb the people that were in the library. And we'll see how the music room gets done too, because my thoughts are like, hey, you know, there's only one wall, maybe the insulation's not very good, but you'll see how that goes in a second. But going ahead, making the walls red, the floor red, and... Just waiting for those changes to be done. And here, as I thought, I would just put in everything else. So here, here's my insulator wall, so that makes me feel better. Um, so I was going to put in the music and stuff like that, but I was also going to put in the workbench for the toys and the knickknacks and that sort of stuff. Um, but because I couldn't find really anything else to put in there besides the workbench and music, I decided to put the workbench out of there and just put the music in there, which is fine. I mean, it can be changed to two rooms or something like that. I mean, that could, that that wall could be a um, a hallway of some sort to get to that, which is fine, no big deal. So, going up to the parents' room, putting in two vanities and a dresser. Excuse me, dresser drawer. Or, you know, ar armoire. Making sure everything looks all good. And uh, kind of a little, you know, match. Like, you know, the armoire and the vanity on the right hand side is the females, and the male vanity is on the left. So I really liked the, um, this, that stuff's pack that I'm using to fill the bathroom with for the bathroom. Like I don't really care for all the bedroom stuff, but um, it's like master suite or something like that. But I really did like it. And not, I don't decorate too much, but you see me trying to use some of the decoration stuff. Like I do like to put stuff on the walls that I can do. <laughs> um, and I should have gone back in there if I wasn't, at that time, if I wasn't so tired, I probably would have um, put in a lot more pictures and a lot more sculptures and so I'm only I'm only decently half 
happy with this. I'd give it a seven and a half out of ten, to be honest. Um, but I was kind of excited to make it, and I just, by the time it ended, I wasn't feeling it. But um, I wanted to be a little silly with the rugs there, put as many rugs as possible. But it just looked ridiculous, so getting a little desk in there because I did not have any desks downstairs. I usually put like a computer desk or two down there in the study, but because I didn't have room in there, I decided that each person would have their own computer desk. So here I find this nice, beautiful, dark hardwood, and I absolutely love it. So I went ahead and put it everywhere else because why not? And just like I said before at the beginning of this, I'm kind of experimenting with the wallpaper and the carpet, or in the flooring, so it might not be 100% great, but I went ahead and did it anyway. And just trying to make sure that everything matches here. Um, I think I just ended up going with like a black, yeah, so... And then here we have the nursery, which I thought would be closest to the parents, so then um, go ahead and do that. And I also, I love to have training potties everywhere, because you just never know. I have a training potty, you know, in every bathroom that's appropriate, and the nursery, because sometimes the bathroom's too far away for the kid, and you don't want to have accidents, so. I like decorating the kids' rooms. It's nice. It's fun. It's so sweet to do. I, I just have a, I don't know, I just have fun doing it, so. I still didn't catch myself uh, doing the flower wallpaper, but I did find it and I thought to myself, let's go ahead and put this in the girls' room, so. Or the boys' room, or the child's room, whatever. You know what? Screw that political correctness. I'm sorry, but you know what? Um, the child's room. So anyway. Um. So you have one child that's more feminine, and then another child that's more masculine, maybe. I mean, I was into... My parents never restricted me on anything, so... I was never forced to be anything. I mean, I was pretty much tomboy. I was catching lizards and running around barefoot outside and just having all fun sorts of fun. But then I was also, you know, wearing dresses and heels and wearing cheap makeup. You know, the little, you know, dollar store for girls makeup. Yeah, that stuff too. Um, I found a chair, and I think it's part of, like, the 70s, 80s, 90s stuff pack. Or the, um, University Life stuff. Or University Life expansion pack. Where it looks like a beanbag chair. Now, I couldn't find it. I wanted to put it in each of the kids' room, but I ended up finding the flapjacks and the actually the magic, the magician's hat, so that's what I ended up doing. So those are actually chairs, if you can believe it. Um, but then we also have the, um, I'll also pan to it maybe in a few moments. You might be able to see it in a few minutes, but there we go. So there's a boat bed, so I thought that was cute. Um... And then I'm getting kind of frustrated at this point. I'm getting tired at that point, and I'm like, <sighs> but I'm like, okay, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. But um, I enjoyed building this. I did like it. I just, um, I just got tired. I was tired today. So um, here I decided to split that bathroom into two. Make a white bathroom. Make a black bathroom. Which I thought would be kind of cute to do. So make sure there's, there's, there's potties everywhere. But, uh, make sure you got everything. Make sure you got the mirrors. And I didn't realize, you'll see this in a few moments, I didn't realize that I didn't paint the walls white in there. So you see me kind of like click, 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 click on the wall trying to, um, make it white. Because I thought it was white. You might see that in a little bit. But here I am trying to get a ceiling for the balcony. Um, I wanted to make sure that they want to get rained on or snowed on. Because I do have the season stuff. I have everything except for the Katy Perry thing and the car stuff. That's pretty much it. Um, 
so that gives you any idea of the selection that I have while I'm building these houses. Um, but I thought that looked kind of stupid, even though I did like the color of the tile and I ended up keeping it there. But what I ended up doing, as you'll see in a few minutes, is putting on a roof. So then the roof is just the... Um, there. And I, I still think it looks a little weird, but I went ahead with it. So there you go. I'm trying to look at the house, assess it. On that, on the left hand side, it's pretty flat except for the bay window, and in the back, it's kind of flat. But um, I think that the front and the right hand side kind of make up for it. I make a karaoke machine, a little bubble station, and I'm not quite sure what else I put in there. Oh yeah, I put a little grill and some chairs there, so we're going to go ahead and, yeah, go ahead and finish that up. But, yeah, I recorded this earlier today, and so it's been a full day since I've seen it, so. <laughs> um, go ahead, get the fence in. And it's a pretty color, it's a dark pretty color. Go ahead and get, and I hate I don't know, I feel like it was easier in The Sims 2 to find a fence gate, and it, I just find it really hard in The Sims 3 to find something that matches, like when it comes to like the interesting different kind, I don't know. Some fences are hard to match with gates, and some aren't, so some of them are easier to detect than others, but I want to go ahead and just create a tool, you know, create a style it and went on. Here I'm putting in all the lights, just to make sure everything all, you know, everything will fit. If you didn't notice, I did put a grand piano in there, or a little mini grand piano, I believe that's what it was. Um, I don't know if this actually helps with any of the lighting, but I put a light behind every bookcase. <laughs> um, and here I'm trying to find a suitable light. So I, I didn't want to make it too bright in there, but I wanted to make it enough that, you know, it's, I wanted to make it kind of cozy. Um, going back to the lighting to fix the, after I fixed all the, or I fixed the kids floor. Gotta go ahead and get that outside light. I don't like a whole lot of outside light, but I wanted enough to where it made a noticeable dent in it, so. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the kids' rooms all lighted up. Light them up, up, up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I love Fallout Boy. But yes, that is a tanning booth that is next to their little love seat, who's, you know, can you say rich? I mean, they're furnished. Furnished. This is over two hundred thousand. See, there. I'm trying to. I'm. I'm struggling there for a second because I thought that you know, um, I thought that it was white, so I was just gonna go ahead and do that. But, um, I think this is a. I think this wraps it up. But yeah, this is the outside view. Yep, this pretty much wraps it up. So, for about two hundred eleven thousand simoleons you can get this so i hope y'all like it we're gonna go ahead and do a quick walk through it's a little bit slowed down and just one quick sweep just to see everything go upstairs and then We're all, we're all done. So that's it. So that's kind of how the house down the street looks.